Hi, I'm Dave Epstein, and welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom, where I have a special guest, Kurt Upham, president of Odeer, and today, Kurt and I are going to be talking about tick control. So, Kurt, I know that you do deer control as well, but we want to talk today about the idea of ticks, and ticks are really becoming a big problem for a lot of folks around many parts of the country, especially here in the Northeast. Exactly, yeah. The uh, Lyme disease cases have gone skyrocketed in, say, the past 10 years uh, up and down the Northeast. Um, from uh, Lyme disease, babiosis, or lichiosis, those are just a few of the, the diseases people get from these uh, black-legged ticks, other known as deer ticks. So first, let's talk about, you know, neither of us are doctors. So, you know, you get bit by a tick and it's been on you for 24 hours or so. Yep. Definitely want to talk to the healthcare professionals. But really where mm -hmm. you specialize is not even getting to that point. Let's get them out of the yard so we're not bit by them. Absolutely. Making your yard more tick unfriendly is what we really strive for. Uh, creating that delineation between the woods and your lawn with a mulch bed of anywhere from three to four feet is so important. Those ticks aren't going to migrate over that mulch bed in order to get to your lawn. They're just not going to. If a tick had an Achilles heel, David, it would be lack of moisture. Without the moisture and without the leaf litter, ticks cannot survive. So Kurt, behind us, it seems like this is more of an ideal environment for ticks. It's rather tall. You know, if I were weeding in here, I'd be sure to have long pants. I'd put on some sort of repellent. Whereas the lawn area, probably don't have to worry about ticks. Exactly. The lawn area, you certainly don't have to worry about it unless it's uncut or unkept. If you have a lot of thatch, Dave, or a lot of leaf litter, if you neglect your lawn, then that's where the ticks are going to want to also hang out. But the main majority of the ticks are going to start here. They're going to start here where there's not only tall weeds in order for them to climb up on and find their host, but it's going to have leaf litter in here, a place where they can go, where they can be safe, where they can get moisture throughout the night, throughout the day, rainy days, and cold days especially. How can a homeowner prevent ticks in their own yard? They can do a lot of things by preventing ticks, Dave. What they can do is remove uh, leafy areas that we had talked about earlier. Remove those leafy areas, get it back three or four, four feet, blow that leaf litter in the fall, make sure your landscape company that comes to do the work, or yourself if you have the blower, blow that leaf litter back. So then we get into the sprays. What we do is we're gonna come to the edge of your woods and what we spray is a natural cedar oil, and that cedar oil is gonna kill and repel ticks. It's almost like a cedar closet, Dave. We're just taking it outside and applying it on your property. And we're gonna spray back maybe anywhere from six to 10 feet, turning over that leaf litter like we talked about before, getting the product down, getting it on those ticks, and we have tick mortality within three to five hours. Wow, so that's pretty amazing. So if a yard does have a big infestation of ticks, we're able to kind of kill them and really make the yard safe for kids and family. Absolutely, absolutely. Ticks are really hard to kill, uh, but we have a lot of, uh, you know, we really work hard at, at making sure that we get that product down into the leaf and turning over that leaf litter is so important rather than just doing a surface spray and hoping that it gets on a tick. Kurt, thank you very much. Very informative and uh, important because many of us do have the ticks in our yard or we're in areas where there are ticks. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.